Hi friends, it's Miss Houston, and today we're going to read another one of our favorite stories called The Green Ladybug. Now, The Green Ladybug is the title of the story. Very good. And it's written by Zachariah Rippey. So if he wrote the story, who is he? The author. He also drew the pictures. So if he drew the pictures, he is also the illustrator. Very good. So the author writes the story, the illustrator draws the pictures. So let's find out what happens to the green ladybug. Little red ladybug sat in the sun, laughing and playing and having some fun. They wiggled and giggled and zoomed through the sky and hooped and hollered as friends flew by. They danced and sang, then some played a game. Little red ladybugs all looking the same. Jim looked like Jeff and Jeff looked like Sue. He looked like her and she looked like Drew. Drew looked like Cliff and Cliff looked like Bob. The little red ladybugs were a look-alike mob. One day, a new bug wanted to play. Her name was Marilyn McMona Vierde. She was a ladybug of green and not red. She came to the red bugs and politely, she said. So she was different. She wasn't the same. Hello there, new friends, and she flashed a bright smile. I have been traveling for quite a while in search of a home, fantastic and new. I'm so happy, happy to meet other ladybugs, too. The red bugs were shocked and piled in fright. A green ladybug couldn't be right. Ladybugs are red, orange, maybe okay. But green ladybugs? No, sir, no way. They said to Green Ladybug, you cannot play. We do not like you. You go away. Green Ladybug said, what mean things to say. I am a ladybug. Please let me stay. It's not very nice. You aren't one of us, a red bug growled. You're more like a leaf, another one howled. Then the pile of red bugs started to cheer. Float away, leafy. We don't want you here. Look, does the green ladybug look happy or sad? She fluttered her wings and away she flew. For a green ladybug, she felt really blue. She flew to a leaf and sat there so sad. She had no idea why they treated her bad. She had been kind. She was very polite. They were just rude and rude was not right. Little red ladybugs played in the sun, laughing and saying, reds have more fun. What did green ladybug do with her day? What happened to Marilyn McMona Vierde? She sat all alone on a leaf far away, hoping and wishing she could too play. Until one day, she heard cries from afar. The red ladybugs were caught in a jar. They tried to get free. They wiggled and they scurried. The red ladybugs looked terribly worried. I must save them, green ladybug thought, for she was the ladybug who hadn't been caught. So even though they were mean to her, she wanted to save them. Little red ladybugs having no fun, roasting and toasting, all stuck in the sun. Tiny bugs captured in a jar made of glass. Wow, green ladybugs snuck through the grass to the top of the jar where she whispered, Sit tight. I think I can save you. Just maybe. I might. Little green ladybug sat in the sun, clever and brave, a rescue party of one. The bug catcher saw her shining so green, the most beautiful bug she had, she had ever seen. I'll get you too, the bug catcher said. Then Miss Vierde hopped on the bug catcher's head. Wonder what's going to happen. Eek! The bug catcher yelled. She kicked the jar and she flinched and she flailed. The jar rolled and bounced with red bugs inside. Those poor little bugs went for a ride. And as the bug catcher jittered and jerked, green ladybug saw that her plan had worked. 
The jar had cracked open and tumbled about, and the look-alike bugs all spilled out. Little green ladybug had saved the day. The ladybug catcher was frightened away, and now the red ladybugs treated her kind. A better friendship you'll never find, for red and green ladybugs are all free to play. Thanks for the kindness of Marilyn McMona Vierde. The end, but then the reader has a little message. Dear reader, thank you so much for your time. I hope that you enjoyed this story. I truly enjoyed writing it. I would like to ask you to do me a huge favor. Think about someone you know that could use a kind word. Think about a person who you could bless with a kind action. Then do it. Be kind, say kind things, do kind things for others. You will be surprised to see that it will brighten your day also. So. What is one thing, kind thing that you can do for somebody? Bye.